my favorite book. Now this time I chose three books. Yeah, but don't cheat, I don't want you to see it. Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. I think it's been almost six months since I released a book review video and during that time I had been fortunate to read few that are really good. So it's opportunity to share and recommend it. Now this time I chose three books, yeah, but don't cheat, I don't want you to see it. Two are more practical and can really get you into the world of ethical hacking and enhance your knowledge and skills. And one is more of an overview on cyber uh, weapons that reads like a modern Lecaire novel with terrifying tales of espionage and cyber warfare that will keep you up at night, I promise. So it's worth to wait for the end of the video. Let's begin. So the first book to speak about today is Ends on Hacking, written by Matthew Ecke and Jennifer Arcuri. I hope I state their, their names properly. And Matthew is an expert in offensive security, discovering vulnerabilities used by malicious attackers, as well as developer of exploits and security testing tools. While Jennifer is an entrepreneur public speaker and certified ethical hacker. She is the CEO and founder of Hacker House. And this is a super practical book that requires no previous experience in computer hacking and only an entry level understanding of computers and networking. Cybersecurity threats are everywhere. And the best way to identify the real world risk to your computer networks and your data is to defend against attack, is also to think like a malicious hacker and understand their methods. Hands on security teaches readers to see through the eyes of their adversaries and apply hacking techniques to better understand real world risks to computer networks and data. And readers will benefit from the other years of experience in the field of hacking into computer networks and ultimately training others in the art of cyber attacks. This book holds no punches and explains the tools, tactics and procedures used by ethical hackers and criminal crackers alike. It will take you on a journey through a hacker perspective when focused on the computer infrastructure of a target company exploring how to access the servers and data. Once the information gathering stage is complete, you will look for flaws and their known exploit, including tools developed by real world government, finance, state actors. So this book will provide an introduction to the same hacking techniques that malicious hackers will use against an organization. It's written by InfoSex experts with proven history of publishing vulnerabilities and highlighting security flaws. It's based on tried and tested material used to train hackers all over the world in the art of breaching networks. And it covers the fundamental basics of how computer networks are inherently vulnerable to attacks, teaching the student how to apply hacking skills to uncover vulnerabilities. So if you are looking to understand penetration testing and ethical hacking, this book takes you from the basic methods to advanced techniques in a structured learning format. Really recommend it. The next one is Hacking API by Corey J. Ball. And first and foremost, I'm a very proud owner of this unique version that is signed actually by the author, okay? So I was very excited and fortunate uh, to get it. Thank you again, uh, Corey, really appreciate it. And few words about API application development and delivery environments are more 
amorphic and elastic than ever before, bringing together independent components that interoperate and facilitate secure application delivery. The cement of these emerging architectures are APIs that allow data exchange, integration and automation. And APIs are in use for backend systems, microservices, mobile apps, serverless uh, architecture, and event-driven processes. As a result, it's critical to safeguard exposed API from an array of cyber threats, such as data theft, data manipulation, account takeover, and more. And this great book by Corey J. Ball is divided into four parts covering fundamentals of web applications and APIs to real-world APIs hacking. It focuses on pen testing, REST APIs, and GraphQL APIs. The first few chapters provide a high view of how web application and APIs work and most common vulnerabilities that plug APIs, aka OASP top 10 APIs. The next set of chapters describe the process of setting up the lab to follow along with the rest of the book. And this includes setting up a Kali Linux machine, installing required tools and extensions like Burp Suite or Postman, WFAS, Arjun, Kite Runner, Nikto, OASP Zap, Foxy Proxy, and OASP AMS, and setting up the vulnerable endpoint or web application. So Corey, the author, has demonstrated most attacks on the CR API and then vulnerable GraphQL application, DVGA. Other vulnerable web applications mentioned in the book include OASP Dev Slops uh, Pixie and OASP Juice uh, Shop. In the next part of the book, and this is where the book gets really interesting in my opinion, it delivers into penetration testing API endpoints from discovery, fuzzing, and endpoint analysis to performing various attacks. It really an ends on, so better get your lab set up as described in earlier chapter. That's very important. Each chapter in this part covers the relevant theory followed by demonstration of the attack technique. You can easily replicate the techniques shown in your own lab. In the last part, there is a chapter on evasion technique. It's pretty basic, but I think it's a good starting point. And a chapter also on pen testing DVGA, a GraphQL based web application. So to summarize, very good theoretical and practical book that deliver its premise from my point of view. The ends on lab made it fun to go. It also provides very good starting point for understanding OWASP API top 10 and practice various attacks. So again, mostly recommended. Last but not least, my favorite book this year to date. This is how they tell me the world ends. The Cyber Weapons Arm Race by Nicole Perlot, the New York Times cybersecurity reporter. And this book is about the untold story of the cyber weapons market, the most secretive, invisible government-backed market on Earth, and a terrifying first look at a new kind of global warfare. Main focus of the book is around zero day which is a software bug that allows the hacker to break into your devices and move around undetected. One of the most coveted tools in a spy's arsenal is Zero Day as the power to silently spy on your iPhone, dismantle the safety controls at a chemical plant, alter an election, and shut down the electric grid just as cocaine. For decades, under the cover of classification levels and non-disclosure agreements, the United States government became the world's dominant hoarder of zero days. U.S. government agents allegedly paid top dollars, first thousands and later millions of dollars to hackers 
willing to sell their lock picking code and their silence. Then, according to the book, the United States lost control of its hoard and the market. Now, those zero days are in the hands of hostile nations and mercenaries who do not care if your vote goes missing, your clean water is contained, or our nuclear planets melt down. Filled with spies, hackers, arms dealers, and a few amusing heroes, written like a thrilled, a thriller, and a reference, this is how they tell me the world ends, is an astonishing feat of journalism. Based on years of reporting and hundreds of interviews, the New York Times reporter Nicole Perloff lifts the curtain on a market in shadow, revealing the urgent threats faced by us all if we cannot bring the global cyber arms to heel. And that's conclude our video for today. Definitely I will continue to read more and more uh, uh, books and will try to recommend the ones I like. So until the next time, see you.